glad, so glad to be back here with you today in 2021. <laughs> Very nice. I hope you had a great New Year celebration. Welcome to a brand new year here on Corny Creek Farms. I'm glad to be with you. And I hope you're going to enjoy this next year drawing along with me as well. Awesome. Okay, so, oh, you want to see me? There I am. <laughs> Remember, I'm your head cow tunist, Mr. Dave. <laughs> Where's that cowbell? There it is. Ringing in the new year with the cowbell. All right. So we're going to draw something today I think is appropriate. Baby New Year to welcome in 2021. Before we do that, I thought I would share uh, the last couple of weeks. I haven't shared my colored drawings of the previous work that we did. So I thought I'd go back and share. Here we go. A couple weeks ago. Remember Bakery Mayhem? Yes, the donuts that we drew. All right, what's going on? We had our feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> See, we use simple shapes, circles, rectangles, squares, circle, all of those simple shapes to create some fun characters. And that's the Bakery Mayhem. I hope you had fun drawing and coloring yours. And then the week following, remember up north here in the U.S., they had a lot of snow. A lot of snow. So we can we created this contraption to pick up the snow. It was called the Snow Monster 4000. <laughs> Fire breathing so it could melt piles of snow. Arr. Kind of built on based on a military vehicle and a submarine all in one. And of course, kind of a dragon. <laughs> Silly little contraption. I hope you had fun drawing and coloring your Snow Monster 4000. But let's get busy today drawing Baby New Year, shall we? All right, so let me grab my pencil, Baby New Year. So with a baby character, we're gonna start with a head. And when we're drawing babies, typically they haven't really grown into their bodies yet. So their heads are larger <laughs> than their bodies. So we're gonna start with two simple shapes to begin the head. The first simple shape is just a circle. And remember, if you've drawn along with me before, I like to use pencil to block out the basic shapes of the character. I do draw it with pencil, but then at the end I ink it and then I erase some of the, some of the lines that really weren't a part of the drawing to begin with. So to get the shape of the head, I need a circle and then a flat oval. All right. And how we're going to make the head shape out of these two is we're going to connect them around the outside. So big head, just kind of go around the outside. Here's the little cheeks like that. And so if I were to erase the inside part of these two shapes that I began with, you'll see that we're left with a shape that's going to be the baby's head. <laughs> and then to place the features, I need a couple of reference lines. I'm going to put a line going down the middle, <clears throat> slightly curved, and then a line going across the middle like this. And this line tells me where to place the eyeballs. I'm going to be placing an eyeball here. So put an oval there and maybe an oval right there. The eyeball shapes. On the inside of the eyeball shapes, two more ovals for the pupils. All right. Pupil. Pupil. In between a little nose, a little button nose, just like a letter C, that'll do. All right, and let's see. How about a, just a real tiny little smile with some chubby cheeks? Just a couple curved lines like that. The ears, just see a little bit of the ears on the outside here. Just curved lines. Maybe some eye, eyebrows and a little, little curly cue of hair. Babies don't have much hair when they're born, but there's some right there. And Happy New Year Baby would have a top hat, typically. We could write something on the hat if we wanted to. We could write the year. We don't have to write anything on it, but let's do a top hat. The traditional Baby New Year has a top hat. So a curved line, it's going to be kind of resting on the side of his head. And then I could use just a simple rectangle shape to make the top hat, right? But I don't want to do, I want to add some style to it. So I'm going to curve that line like this. Curve at the top and then a curve at the bottom as well. 
to create a top hat with some style. All right, just make a little brim here, thicken it up. All right, so there's the baby's head with his hat on. Baby New Year. And let's see, the body is kind of just a little pear shape. He's going to be sitting on the floor. So kind of triangular body shape. He'll be wearing a diaper, which is just a line across the middle and then almost like a triangle shape where they fold it and pin it. Okay. So let's see. Feet. He'll be sitting on the floor, so his feet will be out front. I'm going to draw those a little larger than life because they're in front. So two oval shapes for the feet. Do this. Circle at the top for the ball of the foot. Circle at the top. And then the toes. One big toe. And then little tiny toes that go down there like that. Circle. Big toe. Tiny little circles. <laughs> All right. You'll see how they... See that? When we ink that, you'll see. How that becomes... A little foot. <laughs> Okay, the arms, let's have the, the baby's going <clears> to, <throat> one arm can be just resting off to the side, but the other arm, I'm going to exaggerate this. A baby would not have arms this long, but in, in cartooning we can exaggerate things. So a real long arm sticking way out that's holding a balloon. So for the hand, a circle at the end of this straight arm. The thumb, put an oval there. And the fingers holding the balloon, just smaller ovals. All right, little string, and at the top of the balloon, kind of an oval shape with a triangle at the bottom where they tie the balloon. All right. All right. There we go. All right. There's the balloon. On the balloon, it might have, maybe we'll put the year 2021 on there. Let's make a horizon line, which is, he's sitting on the floor, so let's do this. Slightly curved line that goes around like this, and let's pretend it's a, he's sitting on a rug, a multicolored rug. So when you go to color this, maybe color the bands of the rug different colors. Maybe it's like a circular or an oval shaped rug. So that'll give you some fun things to color these different parts of the rug there. All right. Then over here we can write Happy New Year or something. How's that sound? Let's get to inking our Baby New Year. I hope that wherever you are, you celebrated a wonderful New Year and you're ready for big things to happen. All right? creation of artwork. Maybe you've got a new comic idea. Maybe you're writing stories and you have a new story idea. Maybe you're a journal writer and you write in a journal every day. Maybe you think this year, instead of just writing in my journal, I'll actually add some pictures in my journal. That would be fun. On the balloon, let's make a little, you know how we do in the, in the pupils, we add that little white speck for a reflection. Well, the balloon is kind of shiny material, latex material. So it might have a, either a little oval shape or like one of these shapes, just like a little triangle that is a glint. So when you go to color this, you color it maybe a red balloon, you'd leave that white. And that would indicate that that's the reflection. All right. Here's the... See, I'm just using my oval shapes to, to 
create this <clears throat> really long baby arm. <laughs> and I mean, that's pretty long for a baby arm to be. But again, cartooning, exaggeration. Here, there. I like to go back sometimes and thicken up some of the lines to give it a little more character. Yes, even in the lines you can get character. It just makes it more interesting, I think. All right. Little hair at the top. All right. Eyeballs. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to continue down because his eyes kind of stop right here. Little reflection. This is a pupil. Little reflection. Fill in around that little dot of white. Adds a little bit of life to your character, doesn't it? Little button nose. I'm going to make it even tinier of a mouth than I drew in pencil. Tiny little mouth, big cheeks. And then I'm going to make the diaper come even higher. Maybe the little, <laughs> little belly button there. All right, the feet. Big toe. Smaller toes. How many toes is it? One, two, three, four. Now in cartooning, sometimes we eliminate the number, like in the fingers. I only drew three fingers instead of four. And some people, why do they do that? Well, I think it began in animation, where, you know, animation, it takes many drawings to make something appear to move. And so when they eliminated one of the fingers, it gave them less to draw. So it was economy of time. <laughs> okay, so to make this look like cloth diaper, you can put like lines there that's like being pulled in. So, okay, the hand, coming away, and then maybe underneath the head, a little bit of shadow on, that falls on the body, because again, the head has volume and it's over the top of this small neck, so it might cause a little shadow, all right? Let's see. How's yours looking? Baby New Year. Create the rug. With just some curved lines. Then maybe over here we write, where's my big thick marker? Here it is. Right here we'll write, Happy New Year! Yeah, I hope you're looking forward to possibly this could be the year when we get back into schools, keeping my fingers crossed that we can all get back together again and start learning with our friends. We can start going back to birthday parties again, make this stupid sickness go away so we can enjoy our lives like we did before, right? It's getting quite annoying and frustrating so we deserve <laughs> for this to go away and for us to have a great year don't we yes <laughs> I'll state it we do <laughs> I can't wait to get back into the classrooms I have been doing some virtual school programs which are fun it does get interaction with students and teachers but it's just not the same is it let me just brush off these eraser comes just not the same when you're sitting at home in front of a camera 
watching people draw and you get to talk to them and see their work, but it's not the same. So I can't wait to get back into the schools myself. All right, how'd we do with our baby new year? <laughs> hope, you, hope you had fun drawing that little critter. And <laughs> a little critter. <laughs> It's a baby and I call it a critter. <laughs> oh my, happy new year, right? All right, until next time, my friends, we'll have a great year together. Don't forget, take care of one another. Be safe and be well. All right, have a great 2021. Yes, party creatures!